Hey guys, uh, I noticed that Midas released an update for the Pro Series consoles and I decided, hey, why not show you how to do that update? Uh, let's go to the website and see how we do it. So if we go here to products and click on live performance system, choose our console, for me that would be Pro 3, downloads, Here we go. Uh, five uh, 2.5.2 release two. I'm downloading version 2.5.2 release two, and the release notes are for 251. That's no good, but that's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and, and do the update anyway. You need a flash drive. That that that's very important. That's how you load the uh, software onto the console. Uh, you need a folder on your flash drive that's called EDL3 Upgrades. And in that folder is where you want to put the update files. I have an older one here I did back in March, I think. And I've done one since, I just didn't uh, have the time to record that update. So you want to drop that update file. Two five two release two. This is the update I did earlier. Uh, Pro three G two five release one sixteen, and uh, it fixed a couple of things. But I didn't realize that they were gonna push out um, newer ones so quickly. So here we go. Copying that file over. It's a good two hundred megs. What do you know? So files are on there. Uh, let's eject this thing. So here we go. Take the flash drive. Plug the flash drive in. As soon as we plugged it in, I saw that thing pop up right there. It says multiple upgrade files found. Select the required upgrade. That's because I had multiple. Uh, I had that other file in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to home, uh, upgrade, and then it's going to show me all the files that are on there. Ignore the ones that have dot underscore, that's a file that uh, Apple puts on everywhere. I don't know, I don't know why, but you don't want that one. Uh, so here's 231, here's 252, that's the one I want. And I don't want the one with underscore, so that's the file I want. As soon as you hit that, it's going to launch the firmware update utility. It's going to make your screen black for a little while while it loads that up. Um, now remember, this update not only updates the master controllers, master controllers in the Surface, it also updates the 371, the audio engine, and updates any stage boxes you have connected to the network. So let's take a look. While we're here, uh, what else do you guys want to see? I'm totally open to making more videos. Uh, I just need to know what you want to see. Uh, you're, you should be pretty familiar if you've seen my other videos with what my hardware is and what my capabilities are. If there's something you saw me do that you're curious about or you want to know more about, go ahead and leave a comment or send me a message and I'll get back to you via a reply or I will be making a video uh, to answer your question. So yeah, I'd love to answer your questions. Just uh, shoot them over and uh, I'll see what I can do. So it looks like the uh, updater actually finally finished loading up. And what it does is it examines your network and it finds what needs updating. And for me it looks like it's found two master controllers, four DSP cards, one I.O. box, the control surface, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, select all everything selected and then hit update now. Uh, power removal not advised. I would say it's really good. Yeah, you should really update, uh, back up your shows before you do this. Uh, make a backup preferences before upgrading. These can be backed up to your USB 
Any shows already? Would you like to back up your shows now? Yes, please. Uh, so, yeah, I let it do all the backups. Normally I would uh, manually back up the show file, but this time um, I kind of forgot, and I hope it doesn't mess up. It should. It resets the settings uh, just to make sure that the firmware update goes well. It's going to be a while, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, and I'll, I'll be back when this thing is done. So we've completed the update and the instructions were to power cycle the system and then reboot fully two times. That's what I'm trying to do behind me. Um, the shutdown command didn't really do anything so I powered down the system with my sequencer, turned off all the components and sequence as I normally do. So uh, looks like it's turning back on. Uh, the settings have been cleared. I'm going to make sure that my backup uh, was functional and uh, let's see. Let's see. So it looks like my backups were good to go. Actually, my original files uh, stayed in place. So if we go to files, if we go to files, the left side and the right side of the screen are both accurate. Um, it looks like everything was disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and um, load my show. And then go to automation and load my master. Okay, looks like it was a success. All the faders jump to where they normally are. Um, my patching looks good. I think that was a successful update. I'm going to look through it and let you know if there's anything you need to be aware of.